have such a uh, an amazing opportunity. Such an amazing opportunity. Um, I don't know if you saw what uh, Bill Murphy said. Uh, Bill Murray said this weekend. Uh, Bill Murray came out on CNBC and said, "I think we ought to be more personally responsible. I think if you can take care of yourself, then and maybe try to take care of somebody else, and that's support. A, so, 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 that's how we're supposed to live." It's not a question of asking other people for help or being rescued or anything like that. I think we've gotten sort of used to somebody looking out for us. And I don't think any other person is necessarily going to be counted on to look out for us. I think there are only so many people that can take care of themselves and then take care of other people and the rest of the people. They're useful in terms of compost for the whole planet, you know? People came, they came in wagons, and the wheels broke as they crossed the plains. Gee, it must have been hard for those women to push that wagon up the mountain, but that's what they had to do. There is no option but to do it yourself. You have to have your own kind of responsibility. I mean, this guy, he he went to town. We'll have to play the audio when we come back at the uh, bottom of the hour, but he went to town on CNBC and and CNBC as they write the story up their response was gee it looks like he's starting to sound like a republican he's starting to help out the republicans this is going to be a boon for the republicans the republicans really are you down to the republicans is that where you're going is that how you see the world man i am so sick of people who only see the world as republican and democrat that's not the world that's not america i mean i didn't even know honestly Honestly, until we became so hyper-partisan, I didn't know who was Republican and Democrat. I still don't know who's Republican and Democrat on people I work with. I don't know. I don't care. I really don't care. Can we, on this Martin Luther King Day, can we just start looking at the content of people's character instead of what party they vote for? My gosh, we have we have we've replaced racism with the color of people's skin and we've changed it now to the people they vote for. What party they're in. I just want to be judged on the content of my character. And that's how I judge people. Are you a good decent person? Are you working hard? Are you a good decent person that that will will can work with others? Do you respect other people? Good. Come on, let's go. Maybe it's just me, but I, I think we're on the verge of something really good. Really, really good. Really, really bad. But really good, too. That is always your qualifier when you're with your optimism. No, because it because it, it because I believe in uh Rudyard Kipling's poem, The Gods of the Copybook Headings. The common sense will come back around. Two and two do equal four period and so we're coming to a place to where people are starting to go you know what guys i you can say it any way you want but two and two equals four period and his poem says that the only way to get back to common sense after it's so unplugged is that you know terror and slaughter return he says that the only way to do it is a world war um i hope that's not true but You know, the darkness is going to get darker and the light is going to get lighter. You choose life or death, light or dark. Which do you want? 